Hello, I'm Rick Priestley and this is my Beyond the Gates of Antares game, which we'll call Antares for short. Now today I'm going to talk to you about shooting. Shooting is obviously an important part of the game, and when you get a, an order dice for one of your units, you get the option of either firing or making an advance move, and you can shoot in both of those. Now with a fire move, let's give this guard trooper a fire order. There we go. He's going to shoot at this unit. Firing has always worked out unit on unit, so what we do, we begin by measuring. Yes, we're within range. Marvellous. We'll shoot at the Scourer Cannon, which is the weapon our guard trooper is armed with, and it has three shots, so we take three dice. His chance of hitting is his accuracy stat. Now his accuracy stat is five, so all we have to do is roll five or less on each of these dice. So here we go. Two, one and seven. The seven is a miss. The two and the one are hits. So we allocate the hits to this unit. You always allocate hits as evenly as possible. So we've got two hits there, so we'll pick two figures to uh, take those hits. To see if they're killed, we simply roll the dice again. This time we're testing the resist value of these models. Now their resist value is seven, but the Scourer Cannon has a minus two strike value, which means their resist value is reduced to five. So I just have to roll five or less to succeed. Five, he's alive. Three, he's alive too. So in this case, both of these uh, models have survived. Neither have been taken casualty, but because the unit has been shot at, we place a pin marker. Pins are important because pins affect your ability to shoot and your ability to actually obey orders in the next turn. So sometimes you shoot at things just to cause pins. That's shooting, it's as easy as that. 